Hey there, tech people. Welcome back to Tech Talkies. Have you ever wanted to take control of your computer in a completely different way? Well, today, I'm going to introduce you to an incredible gadget that will blow your mind, the Arduino Pro Micro. It is a powerful, versatile microcontroller that you can program to mimic any USB device. Keyboards, mouse, game controllers, audio controllers, you name it. All thanks to the onboard 80 Mega 32U4, which has native USB support. Let's get started. Since we are going to emulate a keyboard, we will need some keys. Let's put some push buttons on a breadboard and connect them to the Arduino. Connect the VCC and ground to the breadboard. Connect one pin of the buttons to positive and the other pin to ground using a 10K resistor. On the other side, connect the pin opposite to the resistor to the data pins. I am using pins 2 to 5. Connection guide is linked in the description. Now, our board is ready for coding. Connect the board to your computer and open a new Arduino project. Select your board here. Depending on your board, it might show up as Leonardo or Pro Micro. Then, import the built-in keyboard library. In the setup function, initialize the keyboard. Then, set the pins for the buttons as input. In the loop function, we can set up what to do for each button press. Here, you can let your imagination run wild. I am going to show different use cases for each button. Start with button 1. Check if button 1 is pressed. Then we can make it type anything we want. Let's try typing. Welcome to Tech Talkies. Add a delay to avoid multiple presses. Upload the code and open Notepad. Now press the first button. Neat. Now let's code all the other buttons. Start the same way for button 2, then let's do a key combination. Let's press the Windows key and the L key together. Then release them both. This should lock your computer screen. Next, for the third button, let's make it open the calculator. Let's see how we would normally do that. We open the Run dialog by pressing the Windows key and R key together. Then, we have to type Calc and then press the Enter key. Let's write this in code now. Run this and press the button, and voila, end. Now that you can begin to understand the power of this board, with our last button, we are going to create a small macro to enter data in Microsoft Excel. Let's say this is a spreadsheet that I have to update every hour or so. I have to update the time and my ID and then a status update. Let's see how we can automate this. First, we press Control, Shift and Colon to enter the time and release it. Press Tab to go to the next cell. Type the ID there, then press Tab again to move to the next cell
and then put it in edit mode by pressing F2 so we can type whatever we want there. Let's check it in action. Open Excel. Press our button and there you go. Let's quickly summarize the functions we coded. Button 1, type A message. Button 2, lock the screen. Button 3, open the calculator. Button 4, enter data in Excel. The fun doesn't end here. This project can also work on mobile phones with OTG support. Let's take a quick look at that. You can see this full video already uploaded on our channel. Like and subscribe for more Tech Talkies.